Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome back to Answers for Elders Radio Network, coming to you across the United States for the first time. We are so proud to come to so many cities across the country. And we are here with nationally renowned aging in place expert, <clears throat> Dr. Jill Berkey. And Dr. Jill, we have been talking about aging in place and is it practical? And your amazing app, um, which people can find at silverspaces.com. And Dr. Jill, um, this has really been a wonderful program um, as far as learning. And so many of us, you know, if we're in our 65 years old or starting to approach retirement, these are the things that we should talk about with future planning. Whether we want to, you know, we always say whether we want to get old or not, it's not an option. We all are getting, we all are aging. So tell me what about the future planning part? You know, why does it make sense financially? We touched on it the last segment, but I really want to de- delve into this. Um, financial planning is, is really a smart thing to do. Uh, mm-hmm. As we had spoken before thinking ahead, mm-hmm. but let's say I can't stay in my home. What are my options? Yeah. Where am I going to go? Um, can I move in with a relative? Um, can I, um, there are things called tiny homes that you can put on your own property. There's something now um, our, our current newsletter talks about, which is accessory dwelling units mm-hmm. where you can, you know, remodel a basement, say in uh, a relative's home and you can live there instead so thinking about what if I can't stay here and it because it's not a safe place for me to be, mm-hmm. or maybe the modifications, you have a huge home and the modifications just don't make sense. You have a four bedroom, three bath home, and there's two of you, um, you know, um, and there are some times where people can remodel a garage and then rent out their home. Yep. So that, that covers cost. You may have um, a person with dementia that needs care but can live somewhat independently, you can Mm -hmm. remodel that garage for that person. This assessment is not only just for um, older adults, Mm -hmm. but we also look at the pictures of dementia, um, muscular dystrophy, people who are in wheelchairs, people who are in walkers, things Mm -hmm. that you need to think about Mm -hmm. when you're ambulating around the home, clutter elimination, big, big, huge one. Um, we all have way too much clutter and we don't realize how dangerous it is for us. You know, Um, you say that and it's so true. We just have been, um, we just redid my recording studio and it's interesting because I didn't realize it was their spare bedroom and it was kind of years ago. It was like the junk room where you, you all have that room that you throw stuff in. I, that this was the room, (laughs) but I, we got rid of about 26 bags of stuff to, um, I, I just had no idea I had so much stuff, but it was like clothes, um, you know, books, uh, <laughs> you know, so many things that you just put things away because you don't know where it's going to go. And I think that's it. It's a mindset of, do I really need this? And I think just starting to realize that less is more, it really truly is um, in many cases, is it not? It really truly is. And unfortunately, we just seem to accumulate things for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And we don't, um, maybe we stop dusting them. Yeah. So we realize how many things we have. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And thinking of what, when I talk to people, their fear of like, oh my gosh, how am I going to move all this stuff? Yeah. You yeah. Know, well, this is the time to start thinking about downsizing. And as I mentioned before, I've had clients who who have said, I don't want to leave all this stuff for my kids to go through. No, Uh, that's smart. Yeah, I want to get rid of it now. Now, the other part of that is this now gives you the perfect opportunity to either make a list or put labels on the back of things of where you want some of your things to go. Because once you are no longer here, no one knows you wanted your right. niece to have that emerald bracelet. 
Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now is a good time when you're going through yeah. things to write where you want some of your things to go when you're no longer mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. And I think that's it. So, you know, I think when we talk about it, when you plan in advance, you have a say. If there could be a situation where it's too late and you won't have a say and you'll have to rely on other people to make these decisions for you. And so, so often, um, you know, I run into situations where families are trying their best. But, you know, for me, I take I go back to with my mother. It took me three months to pack up her her house from all the stuff because she had she'd saved everything in the world <laughs> as a child. So I understand that. So, Jill, we're going to come back in our next segment and we're going to talk about keeping your home safe for the future. And we'll be right back, Dr. Jill, right after this. We at Answers for Elders thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.